Hello, audience! Hunter here, and welcome to the first video where I'm using a stopwatch to see how long the video goes for. Because Frabs doesn't have a uh, recording timer. Uh, all I have is uh, my other monitor and the folder that the videos go into that tell me that the thing is in fact recording. So, uh, I figured, hey, I got the stopwatch. Why don't I use it to record the time it takes to... The time that each video has been going for. Why is it the stopping? Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, so that's 37 seconds plus the intro. Uh, shall we get started? Um, hopefully with this I'll be able to... Uh, um... Huh. It wasn't clicking for some reason. I had to tab out of the game and then tab back in. I don't know what that's about. Uh, yes, tell them how it went in your little online chat room that um, apparently you guys do every single night. Even though you guys are clearly in the same building and could easily just meet in the same room. Seriously, I don't get that. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that that symbol right there is the letter A. <laughs> just a hunch. What year is it? When did this come out? No, this came out this year. This is a 2015 game. <clears throat> so yeah, this is relatively new. Going on two and a half minutes. Um... It's like... There's there's four fucking lines of text there. Down here, there's one line of text. I think we can figure out whose alphabet is superior. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm not I'm not dissing the uh, Japanese alphabet by any means, uh, but I don't know. Apparently, over there they got like three different alphabets, from what I hear. I don't know, I just heard that from someone, I, I don't know from who though, but um, I am, um, I don't know, I'm not sure that's true, but I think our alphabet is just superior. And then it faded to black, and the world ended, as it normally does every night. Look, it's the sky! Warnings for the Karate Dao Club are early. It's 5 a.m. Shit, I'm up at 5 a.m. I go to bed at like 7. 7 a.m. I'm going to bed. <laughs> We wake up as the sun rises and run 10 kilometers around the shrine. I take back everything I said in the previous episode. Your life is still horrible. After we return, we start with stretches in order to avoid injury. We c we're we careful to leave time to loosen up our muscles. You don't stretch before you run? I think it, it would be better if you... uh. Stretch before you run. Next is time for training. Push-ups, sit-ups, squats, all that kinds of stuff. You poor, poor man. Is this man being held against his will? Because I think he is and just isn't telling us. 
All that was nothing but the warm-up. Now, now is when the real karate practice begins. You gotta be fucking kidding me. At this point, I'm already breathing pretty heavily, but the real hell begins now. It's amazing how you're able to do karate without moving your arms, Aoi. Aoi is practicing her karate kata, as usual. A form, or kata, is what they call a collection of offensive and defensive moves followed together into a routine for practicing. It seems like there's many different kata, and Aoi practices a different one every day. It was real. I was really surprised that uh, the movements for each one are totally different. Aoi's kata are very beautiful. She doesn't use any unnecessary strength and moves so naturally. It almost feels like I'm watching a dance. I never asked for this. Well, technically I did in the game, but I never asked for this. I'm sorry, Aoi. Osu, Shiso, Osu, whatever. Fuck that means. On the other hand, I just keep doing the same boring practice again and again. One right straight punch, one right front kick while stepping forward, one left straight punch, one left front kick while stepping forward. I keep using nothing but the most basic moves while slowly moving forward like this. The dull repetition is simply called basic practice. Which is usually how things go. Sorry, I just had to, uh, do something. Let's continue. I gradually advance along the pebbles on the grounds of the shrine while doing my moves. When I get to one end, I turn and repeat the same moves again. I'm just repeating nothing but the same thing again and again. It's like the original Assassin's Creed! Hmm. <laughs> original Assassin's Creed, you just got dissed hardcore. This practice is so dull, yet it's extremely tiring. Sweat drips from my face like a waterfall. This, this is rough. Or maybe the fact that sweat is dripping from your face is the fact that you just ran 10 kilometers. And on top of that... Oh, she's lecturing me? Aoi pushes down my shoulder with an amount of force that doesn't exactly suit her petite stature. Oh, Osu. When she lowers my posture, my body naturally takes a bent position, making me flex... Making me flex stomach muscles that I don't normally use. Just standing like this is difficult. Osu Shiso Osu. I will keep it up, Osu. Aoi is really strict and strict in her Shiso mode. It's like an it's like the normal kind sweet Aoi is just a lie. I've been lied to. So it's about lies. Okay. Well, while feeling tired to the brink of falling over, I continue to force my body to keep moving on. Help. <laughs> well, I guess that's over. Uh, Alright, Ted Buck says that his next that his next move is to pass out. Heh, <laughs> this is nothing to me. I'd be I'd be fine even if you were harder on me. Really though, I feel like I'm gonna puke. <laughs> Since I've come this far, I just gotta have willpower. I'm definitely gonna see this through. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. I, I am not a boy. I am 20 years old. I am a man. I work on YouTube. 
Since she normally acts like this, it just makes it even more frustrating. Uh, you're welcome. That's just natural to do for your family. Really, most I do is walk the dog. Every day. <laughs> yeah, Sakura seems like the type of person who gets overworked very easily, and Karen... Karen's just very soon today. I've, I've never actually seen her work. Just use me as you see fit. Oh, this episode we're going to Shinjuku. By the way, I uh, I read a thing. Uh, we at most there's four days left of this, so um, we'll be able to uh, finish this up relatively quickly. I'm hungry and I need a drink. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Let's uh, didn't mean to do that. Wait, how do I? Oh. Hmm. What? Really? All right. I want to see Kai. Word I'm not even going to try and fucking pronounce. Let alone look it up. Oh, so you play video games. Yeah, that's it. I saw it in a Yakuza video game I played. The Yakuza chivalry code called Min... 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 Kyo. And their Yakuza spirit. And their Yakuza spirit. It's so cool! <laughs> oh, he stares at what? Okay. We're here in Shinjuku. Shinjuku is home to the Tokyo government office. Yeah. Lots of train lines and train lines meet at the giant terminal here, and Shinjuku itself is the location is the loc uh, why can't I speak tonight? Is the location of many giant offices and is a big business district, making it a hub where many people come and go. And most of all, Shinjuku is home to Japan's greatest entertainment district. Yay! I can go review movies. Back in my country, I played a video game about the Japanese mafia, aka the Yakuza. It was set in a place called Ki Kairagadubigubidu. Yakuza have a set of unique rules based on duty and empathy. Sometimes they have to make unreasonable choices even though it won't benefit them. That that conflict is so cool and awesome. Yeah. The headquarters of the Yakuza is Kaijubigubidubidu, where the city glows with a neon with neon lights at night. I always wanted to see it for myself. Well, that's too bad because I don't know, I have to wrap this video up in like 29 minutes. Uh, not 29, uh, 19. So, the character was the model of the character, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. What? No way. Ah, I'm sorry. I don't know how to do it. I'm a bit confused. This guy's. Upset that there aren't a lot of people from the Japanese Mafia in a certain area What's up with that? Well, I kind of had of the, that feeling games and reality are different, but damn Yeah, 
I don't know, in the game you get to shoot a gun. In the game I was just playing not too long ago, you were on a pirate ship, and you were an assassin. I'll let you piece together what game I was playing. Okay then, let's go straight to Kaibujubigubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidubidub
I watch over her nervously. Aoi has good reflexes. She might even be able to get it in one shot. Like I was with every single one of those freaking teddy bears. Game! Start! Aoi puts in a coin and starts the game. The way the crane game works is simple. I know how a fucking crane game works. Putting the coin and buttons light on. When you hold the first button, the crane moves to the side. When you hold the next button, the arm moves to the... Wait, what? When you hold the first button, the crane moves to the side. When you hold the next button, the arm moves to the back. When you let go, the arm stops in place, and if you position it right, you can pick up the prize. Shit. We, we, we don't have anything like this over here at all. Like, holy shit. I just realized the stopwatch wasn't going. Shit, now I gotta check the time. Great! Alright, I came up with a simple solution as to how to fix it. Uh, I can't add time to this, so uh, I just waited until it was at uh, the time it needed to be at. Anyway. Uh, oh yeah, these crane games. Oh, uh, no, we have nothing like this in America. It's, 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 it's still moving. Aoi lets go of the first button. When her hands, with her hands still on the button, she looks around. The, she looks around the side of the machine. Aoi, could it be you're a pro? The human eye is sensitive to side-to-side -side movement. On the other hand, depth is harder to distinguish. That's just an undisputed fact of physics. I could determine depth pretty easily. So when you play a crane game and you're moving the crane backwards, you look from side to side. That's an ironclad rule of crane games. Um... No, I, I usually just look at it from the front. Wanna know why? Because most often the crane game has the light overhead and you just follow the shadow. Aoi, let's go. Right on target. The claw opens up and slowly moves down. The claw grabs the stuffed animal's neck. Could it- could this be it? Yes! Aoi seems confident of her victory. At that moment, the stuffed animal slips from the grip of the claw and falls down. I remember watching an anime where they were doing the claw game, and the claw just snapped off. Eh. <laughs> 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 That's how we laugh. No, don't tell the staff to fix it. I probably planned it that way. You can try and turn back from the contest now. Or you can try and turn back from, from the contest now, Aoi. It's my turn. After carefully planning out my attack, I insert the coin. Side alignment set. Depth alignment set. The arm descends. My target is the tag on the stuffed animal. If it, if that looped tag is grabbed, even if the claw is a little weak, it can take the stuffed animal this way. I've never ever actually tried aiming for the tag. The arm is right on target, just like I aimed, and grabs the tag of the stuffed animal. Got it! And as the crane raises, it swiftly drops clear out of the gr out of grasp. Why? Why did it fail? Impossible! Uh-huh. Damn it! Okay, your your turn next, Alloy. So then you don't mind if I take all the turns here from turns from here on? It's just a little more. L just a little. Next time I'm gonna do better. That's what I said one time. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, I know. But the thing is, when when I said that, I kept winning. <laughs> Seems like Aoi doesn't know. The crane game in my country has much. Has, the crane games in my country have much cheaper prizes than, than in Japan, so there aren't many people who play them seriously. 
However, one day, just to kill time, I pumped the machine full of coins and realized something amazing. In crane games, once every 10 plays, you can see that the claw clamps tighter than usual. I think it's probably to make players convinced they can win and keep trying. Well, except for the ones that have, like, iPods and shit in there. The stuff that the claw can't even fit around. Now that shit is rigged. Now that I always given up, that super mode will definitely come on my turn. Victory is mine! Here goes. Side alignment set, depth alignment set, the arm descends. How when I watch Breathless, the claw grabs the stuffed animal's tag. Okay, don't fall. The stuffed animal is lifted by the claw and barely hangs on. Don't fall, don't fall, you son of a bitch. All I can do now is pray. The second pass at a snail's pace. The Tanuki stuffed animal falls down the prize chute. Yay! I'm the god of crane games! Can't tell if the stopwatch is upside down. Okay, that's the second. Alright. At 26 minutes, I'm gonna give this, uh... You know what? No. I'm gonna cut this off right here. Um, th th this seems like a good place to stop, is any? Um, alright, how do I clear this? There we go. Uh, so, um, that was, uh, part one of our day. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>
Thank you.